as we have discussed, elements of group 14 have four electrons in the outermost cell and they exhibit in the most of the combination oxidation state 2 plus and 4 plus. The stability of these oxidation states varies as you move along the group. And while carbon and silicon usually exhibit oxidation states 4 plus, the rest of the elements can form tetravalent and divalent compounds. However, the tendency to exhibit the maximum oxidation state decreases as you move down the group as a result of the inner pair effect, and therefore combination of lead in oxidation state 4 plus are highly oxidizing. On the other hand, compounds in oxidation states 4 plus are usually covalent even for the two metal of the groups due to the high value of the sum of the four ionization energies while compounds in oxidation states 2 plus are described as ionic for tin and lead although they also have an appreciable covalent nature. All the group 14 elements form simple binary compounds with other elements such as hydrogen, oxygen or halogens. Let's explore in more detail some of this important combination. With respect to the combination with hydrogen, all elements form covalent hydrides where the chemistry of carbon is the most extended with a huge family of acyclic and cyclic hydrocarbons, however they are not treated in this course. In concordance with these hydrocarbons, silicon shows a family of hydrides which are comparatively less stable than those of carbon. These hydrides, which are known as silanes, are known in a more reduced number than hydrocarbons due to the less tendency of silicon to show catenation, being the octasilane, the species with the maximum number of silicon atoms. It is also noteworthy that the silanes are less volatile than their hydrocarbon analogs as a result of the greater number of electrons and stronger intermolecular forces. For instance, propane is a gas in standard conditions while trisilane boils at 53 Celsius. The most representative hydride of silicon is the monosilane, which is commercially prepared by the reduction of um, silicon dioxide with aluminum under a high pressure of hydrogen in a molten salt mixture of sodium chloride and aluminum trichloride. A possible equation for this reaction would be this one. Silanes are extremely reactive and, for example, they decompose on heating, being the thermal stability lower as the chain length increases. In this sense, for example, the silane itself is spontaneously flammable in air. The higher activity of silanes in comparison with carbon analogs has been attributed to the larger size of silicon with respect to carbon, which facilitates the attack of nucleophiles. The lower value of electronegativity of silicon and therefore greater polarity of its bond with hydrogen and the presence of the orbital which allow the formation of adducts lowering the activation energy of the process. Interestingly, whereas the silicon hydrogen bond is not readily hydrolyzed in neutral water, especially high as silanes, the reaction progresses rapidly in a strong acid and in the presence of traces of base. In a similar way, the alcoholysis reaction can take place in the presence of catalytic amount of alkoxide, as it is shown in the following equation. With respect to the rest of the elements of the group, they are also able to form hydrides by the stability of these compounds decrease on going down the group and that limits the chemical accessibility of stannane and plumbane. Thus, germane and stannane can be prepared in tetrahydrofurane solution by the reaction of the corresponding tetrachloride with lithium aluminum hydride. However, plumbane can be only prepared in traces among by the protolysis of the magnesium of a magnesium lead alloy being extremely unstable. The presence of alkyl or aryl groups stabilize the hydride of all three elements. 
The next important family of compounds that we are going to study are halides. Elements from group 14 come from halides of formula MX4, which are all known with the exception of lead tetrahyodide. These compounds, with the exception of carbon, can be easily prepared by a direct combination of the elements or by treatment of the corresponding dioxide with the respective hydrates. Except carbon tetrahalides, which are kinetically stable toward hydrolysis, the rest of tetrahalides hydrolyze rapidly to the hydroelectric dioxide. The trend toward the hydrolysis, however, decreases on descending down the group. Furthermore, all the tetrahalides can incorporate additional ligands given their Lewis acidity to form five or six coordinated complexes. The stability of tetrahalides decreases on descending the group. And for example, in the case of lead, we find that dihalides are more stable than tetrahalides. Germanium and tin dihalides are also known, although they are less stable than the corresponding tetrahalide. In this sense, aqueous and non-aqueous solutions of tin to salts are usually employed as mild reducing agents. Most of tetrahalides, with the exception of tin or lead tetrafluoride, are volatile molecular species with tetrahedral structure. However, dihalides are much less volatile than tetrahalides. For example, we can observe that although tin dichloride so a molecular bend geometry in the gas phase, in the solid phase it forms unchanged polymer through chloride bridges between tin atoms which adopt a pyramidal environment. Finally, we should mention other important type of combination, the oxides. All members of the group are reacting toward oxygen and when heated they form the corresponding oxide. When we descend from carbon to silicon, we observe a big difference between the volatile and monomeric oxide of carbon and the covalent network structure of silica. As we will describe in the, in the following learning sequence, the structural chemistry of silicon dioxide is, is quite complex and it occurs in many forms, mostly based on tetrahedral silicon tetraoxide units, where each silicon is bound to four oxygen atoms through a simple bond. The units are interconnected through oxygen bridges to form the final structure. For the rest of the members of the groups are also known the dioxide, which have a more considerable ionic character, and they usually adopt a rutile structure. As it was observed for halides and hydrides, the oxidation state 4 plus is less stable as you descending on the group, so whilst tin dioxide is still the most stable oxide of tin, lead 2 oxide is the most stable oxide of lead. With respect to the acid-base properties of oxide, generally oxide in higher oxidation states are more acidic than in lower oxidation state, but it also depends on the element considered. So, while carbon and silicon dioxide are clearly acidic, germanium, tin and lead dioxide are better described as amphoteric. Monoxide are also possible to stain for all elements, although silicon monoxide is an, is an unstable compound at room temperature. In this case, whereas carbon monoxide is considered neutral, germanium, tin and lead monoxide are amphoteric. In addition with this important combination, hydrides, halides and oxide, it is important to remark that for carbon and silicon there is the possibility to combine with metal and forming respectively carbides and silicides. In this combination, both elements exhibit negative oxidation numbers and their structure, as happened in the case of borings, cannot be rationalized by the application of simple valence rules. 
also silicides are more closely related with borings than carbides due to its similar value of electronegativity. Only a few silicides are isostructural with the corresponding borite. The reason for that difference in the structure is the larger size of the silicon atom in comparison with boron. Silicides are usually prepared by direct reduction of silica or silicon halides and a metal oxide with carbon or aluminum. They show a great variety of structures such as seeds, chains or isolated polyhedron. For example, the structure of silicides of large alkali metals such as potassium silicides, rubidium silicides or cesium silicides exhibit a cubic arrangement of units of sil silicon for, for minus surrounded by alkali cations. In this combination, the tetrahedral anions are isoelectronic with phosphorus 4 group found in the white form of phosphorus. Silicides are hard materials and also they, their melting points are generally lower than the corresponding carbides are frequently used as refractory materials. Interestingly, when silicon and carbon are mixed at high temperature between 2000 and 2600 Celsius degrees in an electric furnace, they form silicon carbide, which is an excellent engineering abrasive.